Alright, greetings friend. We are back for phase three of our dynamic portrait. And as you remember from our last session, we really focused on uh, diverse background and then getting some features inside of the face. Today, we are going to mix together. So, you should have a palette in front of you and if you're working in a group, you're gonna to wanna to pick the section of the palette that's closest to you. And sure, you and your buddies can combine your colors if you can agree on that sort of thing. If not, just use your own personal space. We are gonna be using yellow, red, and blue. And in the classroom, you should have temper cakes, which are yellow, red, and blue. And you will simply add water to them and apply them to the palette. Unfortunately, in my creation station, I have watercolor little pat so the idea is going to be the same except rather than adding water to a cake i'm going to take a wet brush and pull some paint out but i'm still going to take these three and make one area of color that's going to end up being my um skin tone that i'm going to create so in the video i'm going to make my skin tone which is um a fairly deeper skin cone tone for someone whose skin is a little bit lighter like mine. Um, so it's going to have some richness to it, but then I'm going to offer you some suggestions and feedback on what you can do if your skin is lighter, if it's redder, if it's darker, and how to achieve that. And you're going to sort of figure that out as you're mixing the colors. So um, you want to make sure you have your water cup focus on the good, that's mine, and you wanna make sure you have a paintbrush. I'm happy with just one brush for this. I like using a round or a flat tip brush that's fairly small because the strokes we're gonna make on our face is not gonna require a very large brush. Um, having a teeny brush is probably not ideal because one, we're mixing, and two, we are applying it to a surface area that's gonna be larger than a tiny amount of detail. So when I say small, I don't mean itsy bitsy teeny weeny, I also don't mean large. All right, so let's get into the creation station and check it out. All right, so here we are in the creation station. Um, I I'm kind of mimicking what we have by having my three colors. This is gonna be my palette area that I'm gonna mix in. Then I'm gonna move it aside and apply it to my painting. Right now we're just mixing. So when we're mixing skin color, we're gonna use red, yellow, red, and blue. We're always going to start with a lot of the lightest color. So we want to take our area and get water and create a lot of yellow with our water. And in your case, you're just going to have a kind of wet yellow. So I'm going to try to mimic that by taking this paint and, and really turning it into a watered down yellow. So. I have a yellow area on my palette, as you can see. I'm gonna wet my brush, and then I'm gonna get a small amount of red, probably not as much as I had used with yellow. Now, our goal here is to make a nice orange color. If it's not quite orange enough, you can just add a little bit more red. You wanna make sure that you mix it well, and you have some good water in there so that you're gonna end up with a nice color. If you put a whole bunch of red and it turns too red orange, well, go back in and add some yellow. All right, so we're gonna talk about how to correct these because that's gonna be kind of the goal of creating a skin color. All right, so we have a nice deep blood orange here, maybe a slightly on the red side. We're gonna go ahead and add a very small amount of blue. Look at that, just one little pat. We're gonna mix it in and we're gonna notice a significant change in our artwork. Look at that color on the palette. That's gonna be a nice kind of rich brown. The first thing I'm gonna do is add some water to it. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is add another touch of yellow. All right, so we're gonna go ahead in there and kind of, hey, shoo, excuse me. Um, add um, more yellow. It's getting a little mustardy. I'm gonna go ahead and put a touch of red. All right, it's still uh, a hit on the orange side. So this is what we're doing. We're just kind of adding the colors as we go. So good. All right, so now I'm getting kind of a rich color here. It's a little bit too green. So if it's a little too green, Take some water, 
add a little more red. If it's a little too purple, take some water and add a little more yellow. And that's what I'm about to do. A little bit on the reddish purple side. We're just gonna go ahead and mix some yellow into there. And then, <laughs> here comes the fun part. And here's where it's gonna kinda grip your attention. Go ahead and add a little bit more water. And when you think you have a good skin tone, add a little bit more. We're gonna taste it. No, we're not gonna taste it with our mouth. Ah, now that is a very nice color. I'm pretty happy with that. Maybe I'll make some minor adjustment to it. Okay. And kind of mix it in like that. Add a little bit of water. See if my adjustments, if I'm happy with those. Ooh, oh, that second one, perfect, 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 perfect. So, what I'm gonna do is I now want this to be my skin color. And also, just so you notice, the paper is white. So what you put on your hand is gonna come out a little bit lighter on the paper. All right, so I'm gonna side, and we're gonna bring our work right in here. And we're just gonna, I'm gonna start in a more discreet area. So I'm gonna start down in the neck. And one of the things that I can do is, you gotta remember, you've been adding water to this. And so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of spread it out, spread it out. And I'm following a lot of the movement in my face. So my neck goes up. So I'm gonna make some strokes going up around the edge of my chin. I'm gonna take my brush and make some strokes in that direction okay i'm going to make some down towards the middle i'm going to make a couple going up now it's getting kind of dry get a little water go back into my palette and i'm going to start spreading upward okay now as i get to my lips one thing you'll notice is i, I i'm going to paint right over the red all right, and that's exactly where I was talking about that color kind of blending in. All right, the Sharpie is not going to be affected. Now, the pastel will a little bit, and that's part of the reason we outline with Sharpie and not pastel, so that it would not get as affected on our outline. All right, so I'm going to take that and spread around the nose. And a very important part to think about is the whites of your eyes. Do not paint over the whites of your eyes. Take the care and caution to paint around them because that's exactly how it looks. And you really don't want to mess that up. If you do mess it up, get a white pastel out after it dries and, and you can fix it. But um, take the time to sort of pay attention to what you're painting. You know, your brush strokes are gonna show up, which is why across my forehead, I'm making kind of stroke going across like this. On my cheeks, I might even make rounded strokes. Maybe I want a little shadow in my eye, so I'll make more strokes. So that's one of the things you can do, is if you want an area to be darker, let it dry a little bit and add some more paint. Okay, we're gonna have more shadow under our nose. So if you wanna paint under your nose or under your chin a little bit more or under your hairline, that's totally cool, all right? So those are some things to think about. Maybe there's gonna be a little bit more shadow on one side of the face than the other. And then we're just gonna leave our paint in the palette. We're gonna clean our water cups and our brushes and we now have a wonderful painted skin tone in our work of art. So um, you can see the difference. Look at that, how our skin color comes out on the palette and on the paper. We've done our test run and now we have finished our masterpiece. So I hope you all have fun with this. Clean and organize your workspace when you're done and have a wonderful rest of your week.